front of a capacity crowd in Memorial Fieldhouse, the Crimson Hawks welcomed the 29-2 West Liberty Hilltoppers for the right to go to the Elite Eight in Springfield, Massachusetts. IUP forced their will against the Hilltoppers who were ranked 10th in the nation behind a dominating performance from Daryl Webb who tied his career high with 27 points and added 12 rebounds. Well basically that game was about us more than about them. We had to stop what they do. Right? They like to shoot threes, they're big men, the five men like to step out, shoot deep threes. We had to limit all those touches. I think we gave up more layups than we did all year against them. but. That wasn't their strength. Their strength was the three ball, so we stopped that and, and helped us win the game. With a lot of support in the championship game, aided by three other Crimson Hawks reaching double figures in an 84 to 72 victory. Just hang, hang on to the ball. Four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the champions of the Atlantic Region rush the floor, cut down the net. Book your travel plans, Crimson Crazies. Make room, Springfield! I would be undeniably elite. Uh, you know, it was just good. And to, for the crowd, I think the crowd played a major part into it. The crowd was basically like the sixth man that game because, uh, you know, they had the whiteout going on. And, you know, it was a final home game. You know, win or lose, it was a final home game. And if we won, we get to cut the, the nets down at home, which was, uh, which was a great feeling. And, it was that type of excitement and, and thrill for our guys and for me as a coach personally. Uh, to have that type of support and that anticipation for a game and then, uh, and then to go out and perform. And our guys to, to, to play very well on both ends of the court and to you know, hold a team 30 points under its average was, uh, was, was a sense of uh, pride in our defense but also a sense of uh, uh, where our team had come in the, in the last three months and how we had grown to, the, to be a championship ball club. You have to play flawless in these tournament situations, you know, one loss and you're done. But that game was, you know, being there in person, it, it was a moment I'll never forget.
Panama Health System is the largest employer in this area, and we're proud to be a part of Johnstown's healthy economy. Concurrent Technologies Corporation is a major player in applied research because we have a staff of dedicated, highly skilled employees from the Johnstown area. We began as a small company in Johnstown and now have over 400 employees. Your neighbors who got on the job training and built solid careers. Hard work still works here. At Lockheed Martin, we've tripled the number of employees and doubled our facilities in Johnstown. We're proud to be a part of the vibrant growth in this area. I started my company in Johnstown because I knew I could hire people who were smart and hardworking. Thanks to them, we're succeeding in a global market. Many of our 3,000 students will build careers here. Because of young people like them, the future in Johnstown is bright. Hard work still works here. We are the largest producer of carbon and alloy wire in America. We're investing in new facilities and the people of Johnstown. The quality of work we're doing in this region enables us to recruit talented people from all around the world. We hire top talent and give them plenty of reasons to stay. That's how we became known as one of the best places to work in Pennsylvania. Hard work still works here. When I was told I had colorectal cancer, I had a lot of questions. I found all my answers at Haney Regional Cancer Center. Haney Cancer Center at Du Bois Regional Medical Center is committed to offering quality care close to home. From treatment decisions to insurance options to home health care to support services, you'll find it at Haney Cancer Center. Haney is here for you. It was my answer to excellent care, and I'm living proof. We always dreamed of retiring by the lake. But with our medical conditions, we needed to be near specialists who can usually only be found in big cities. Du Bois Regional Medical Center has a full array of advanced specialists to meet healthcare needs, from arthritis to heart conditions. Du Bois Regional Medical Center made it possible to live our dream. With confidence and exceptional medical care. Du Bois Regional Medical Center is here for your family. And we're living proof. We were thrilled when I found out I was pregnant, but then I started having problems. Fortunately, we could turn to the doctors at Du Bois Regional Medical Center. From perinatal consultants to high-risk maternity specialists to a neonatal intensive care unit, DRMC offers the superior care your family needs every step of the way. My baby came early, but she got a great start. Du Bois Regional Medical Center is here for you and your family. And we are living proof. Comcast Local Edition. I'm Eric Lauber. My guest this half hour is Barbara Connect, the Chief Professional Officer of the Boys and Girls Club of Somerset County. Thank you for joining me, Barbara. Well, thank you very much for having me, Eric. Well, let's begin by telling our audience just an overview of the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club is an organization that serves the youth of Somerset County. Uh, our members are ages 6 through 18, and we have two centers, our youth center uh, serving the elementary age members and also a teen center serving our junior high and high school students. We're located right in Somerset, in, in Somerset but we do uh, serve youth th from throughout the county, and our vision is to expand throughout the county. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of The Sports Zone. I am your host, as always, Tyler yeah. Graham. Today, we take a look at the IUP Crimson Hawk quarterback, Andrew Crewatch. With over half the 2009 football season over, we all have to be wondering, what the heck is going on with Crewatch? The football team now has a record of 3-2, and two, and doubts are already beginning to form on how the rest of the season will turn out. Andrew himself, who has normally been known for some outstanding seasons, has been posting less than average numbers with an amazing amount of interceptions along with the two-game losing streak. First, let's take a look back at just what made his career in the past. 